Hi, in today's session, we're going to look at migrating content from Web IDE full stack to Business Application Studio. Most of the new features that are part of HANA Cloud are being developed only using Business Application Studio as the IDE. With that reason, it's very important to migrate your development tool from Web IDE full stack to Business Application Studio especially when you're working on mobile development or cloud developments in Cloud Foundry. In this particular session, I'm going to migrate an MTA project that was built in Web IDE full stack, export that or put it in a Git repository, and then migrate that to Business Application Studio to continue further developments on it. Right here, I'm in Business Application Studio. I have a workspace and so a projects folder, but nothing in the projects folder. I'm going to get a new MTA projects into it. Before I get started with importing a new project or the existing project into Business Application Studio, I need to have the source code file. I can get my source code from Git repository um, and then clone that repository and then, and then uh, start giving it in Business Application Studio. That's one of the options. That's a preferred option. So when you're working in Web IDE full stack, your repository is almost a sync with your remote repository in GitHub. So, so we can take that remote repository from GitHub and create a local repository in Business Application, application Studio and start working in here. Alternatively, I can also download or export the file from Web IDE full stack as a zip file or, a, or a, a, an archive file to my local machine and then start importing into my business application studio. In this particular today's session, I will import the file from my local machine. I already exported the file uh, as the tar file on my desktop. I'm going to import that file into my business application studio. Going to the file and say, um, import project, and then going to get the, the tar file. It's going to take a few seconds and start um, bringing all the files inside the exported file. Once I have the required structure in my workspace, and then I can make changes and also I can start binding the service to it. And then I start deploying that to the HANA instance. Okay, the project is being fully imported. Now I can open it in a new workspace or I can continue to work in this same workspace. It's up to, it's up to you. So if you wanted to open in a new workspace, you can say um, file, open folder, and then choose your directory. It's going to be projects. I put it in, this is my newly, and say, okay. It's going to get me to the, another workspace which contains my recently imported uh, folder or files. I'm going to close this, get started, then have my DB module. You can see the source, everything coming in here. Now I'm going to bind the HDI instance to the repository de design time objects so that I can start deploying it again to the to the container. I'm going to go to the projects and start binding it. It's going to ask me for uh, an HDI container. Since I'm working in the same space, which was targeted before in Web IDE full stack. So for example, if I was targeting uh, development HANA system as the space in, in the past, so even my business application studio is also going to target to the same space. When, when I'm targeting to the same space, all the HDA containers that were part of in that particular space are available here for me to choose as the binding uh, instance. So with that, I get my uh, binding instance. And these design time artifacts are bound to the to the database connection or the HDI instance, uh, we just added now. 
and that's it. Uh, this is the configuration needed for uh, getting started. And then we can start making changes to the existing content or we can add more content and then start working on business application studio thereafter. I can make this repository uh, or, uh, and branches uh, sync with the remote GitHub repository so that I uh, and continue to work with the GitHub um, branching process for source control in business application studio. So we successfully migrated uh, content for MTA content from Web ID full stack to Business Application Studio in in simple steps. That's it for today's session. We'll connect again in a different topic. Thank you.